Hey guys, what's going on? DZ here, and I'm gonna actually walk you through the binding process on D8, uh, D16, and actually Futaba on the new Beceiver V2. Uh, it's able to do all three protocols, so we're gonna walk through and kind of show you what's going on. So when I plug in, you'll notice the first set of lights are gonna be three red, uh, three red blinks. Lets you know that it is an uninverted signal. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the transmitter menu, and I'm going to get ready to bind on here. So now that that's ready for bind, I'm just gonna go in here and press the bind button. Once I press the bind button, it'll go to the police lights. Then you hit bind on your transmitter. Go ahead and telemetry on, bind that. So once that's going on, go ahead and stop the bind process here. Come to your Beceiver V2. Uh, you're gonna, basically you're gonna double click and that saves what you just did. So double click, that saved it. Uh, but you're gonna double click. So double clicking will actually bring you through D8, D16, and Futaba protocols. You're looking for D16 on this, so we're looking for green lights. So we'll double click until we see green lights. Double click, double click, green lights. Boom. So now you can see that we're bound, we are ready to go. So now I'm gonna walk you through the same process on D8 and then also on Futaba. So next up I'm gonna show you how to bind on via D8, which is what I use on uh, QX7 and pretty much what I've been using for a very long time. So again, we're gonna plug in and look for the initial blinks. Again, the first three red lets you know that you're uninverted. Now for D8, the color you are looking for is red. So we're gonna double click here until we see red lights. So I'll double click. That's gonna be for D16, cause it's green. That double click is gonna be blue, so that's Futaba. Double click again. Ugh. Oh man. I thought it was kind of jacked up. There you go. More. So you saw the double blink red lets you know that you're in D16. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bind button. Hold it. Yeah. Hold the bind button. Release, you're in the Police. Blinking police lights, hit bind on your transmitter. Boom, so on D8 it actually changes the flash code. You know that it's already bound, so you hit, you're done over here, and boom, you are so done. So bound, it will just show green. It'll show green, yep, on yeah. D8. Nice. Last, but certainly not least, we have the magic that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click until I find the blue lights. So that is D8, because it's red lights. Double click, that's D16. Blue lights, so we're gonna go ahead and hold to put into the bind. You have your police lights and watch the magic. That is all. Then you give it a little attention on the receiver. Oh, look at this. It's bound. It's like Harry Potter, but not, because it's real. It's real magic. So let me show you now um, what it'll look like if you have it inverted. Um, so everything will kind of look the same, except you will see the blink codes will be different in the beginning. And I will show you how to change that right now. So it's a change from uninverted to inverted, or vice versa. You hold down the bind button while you turn it on. So and a lot of people like having issues like, hey, I already bound my radio, but right. when I go to for, uh, beta, beta fry, flight, I don't see anything. I don't see anything, right? Yep. It's because the signal is not right. Correct, yeah. yeah. So it, yeah. So you're still bound, it'll, show, so it'll still show bound, but it won't show the right signal. Okay, here we're gonna show you how to either invert or uninvert it, and to change that, all you simply do is hold down this power button here, or sorry, the bind button there. Hold down the bind button, plug it in. That'll change it. So here we go, unplug, replug, now it'll be inverted, so it'll only have the blue lights. There you go. So if you don't, if you only see one set of lights, it won't work with our products. We just need to switch it to uninverted. So hold down the bind button and uh, power on. So the, the main issue why a lot of people are having issues here is because a lot of the receivers out there, you hold down the bind button while you power on and that's how you bind. When for us, all you do is simply apply power and then hit the bind. So that's why some people are changing it from un uninverted to inverted. And all you have to do is swap it back and you'll be good to go. Here you see the inverted signal, so there's only one set of blue lights. And here you see an uninverted signal, which has the red lights, then the blue lights, and that's what you're looking for. There you have it, that is how to bind to your Beceiver V2. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we will be releasing uh, little tips and tricks all the time. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, put them in the comments below. We'll also have a little write-up uh, that tells you exactly what I said 
except in writing form. So for those readers, you can just look down below and that'll tell you what to do. Catch you later.